something fun to do with the family as we head into the weekend, consider going to Canal Side. News 4's Anthony Kanji has a preview of the first ever Buffalo Maritime Festival. Well, Teresa, Buffalo is, of course, has a rich nautical past, and this weekend that history will be alive once again for a first of its kind weekend festival. It's a festival that's been three years in the making, with tall ships coming in each year and the amount of people that came out to see them. The idea for the event was born. We've always had one ship come in. Uh, the sp um, several different ones have come in over the years, and they've been just uh, uh, wildly accepted from the public. The public will come down here over the weekend. You'll see it'll be a parade of people just walking just to see the ships. And the stars of this first festival will be the Lynx and the Peacemaker. The Lynx is a War of 1812 replica schooner. The ship's captain describes what the original ship's job was during the war. 200 years ago, Lynx was a blockade runner, um, meaning that she ran goods past the British blockade in order to keep our, uh, our home fires burning. Um, she also interfered a little bit with, uh, with enemy commerce, but that wasn't her principal role. Uh, vessels like this did disrupt English shipping worldwide, um, especially in the Atlantic. The Peacemaker is an American barkentine ship. And its large deck house and spacious cabins finished in mahogany are modeled after the interior of the British clipper ship, the Cuddy Sark. General admission for the Maritime Festival that runs through Sunday is free. Now, if you'd like to tour the Lynx or the Peacemaker, today is the day to do so. Tours begin at both ships at 10 o'clock this morning. Admission for the tours runs 6 and $4. And for a list of all the events and times of the festival, just go to buffalomaritimefestival.com.